Alrighty guys, Homie here coming at you with a uh, gameplay commentary. It's not live, it's just a game that I got tonight. It's uh, a domination game on Meltdown. I was using a DSR uh, with a B23R backup, flat jacket, toughness, fast hands, tack masks, combat axe, and a tack insert. So I found the tack insert to be very good in pub domination, just to, just to muck around. Uh, keeps me close to the action, nice quick respawns, you can get a lot of defense and captures and stuff like that. So that's the that's the kit that I'm uh, running on this game. I don't normally snipe too much, but I enjoyed it tonight. I was just a... A break, uh, break in the league play, you know, I've been playing a lot of league playing competitive gaming, which I'll talk a little bit more later on in the commentary. I've got a couple of topics to talk about, but uh, yeah, just, I got a little bit frustrated tonight playing league play and stuff like that, so I took a break, a couple of hours later came back and played some uh, domination, just some sniping, and uh, I got a couple of gameplay, so this is probably the best one I had, so I chucked this up. And anyway, in this gameplay, I wanted to pretty much talk about some TV shows that I've been watching. And... Uh, First of all, I talked to them about the TV shows that I love, that I've already not so not so new and sort of stuff like that, and not so well known. Or I'll talk about the well known ones first that I've the old, and you know everyone's probably seen them and stuff like that. But some TV shows that I like at NCIS is really really good. I love the writing on NCIS. Uh, Tony Danoso is probably one of the best characters that I've seen on TV for a long time. He's just very witty. Michael Weatherly acts it very very well. So if you've never seen NCIS, definitely go uh, check that out. It's a, a very, very good uh, TV show, and uh, I'm a big fan of the Buffy and Angel series. Joss Whedon uh, creates some very, very good stuff. He actually, he also did Firefly and stuff like that. So, uh, another, the video he did was Cabin in the Woods, the the movie he did. I haven't actually seen it, but it got pretty good reviews. So, yeah, uh, always look out for for stuff that Joss Whedon does. And I uh, also do like Game of Thrones. That's sort of more new, and it took me a little bit, a little bit to get into it. But once I started watching it, I really did enjoy it. Uh, it de it's all about what you like. It's got some uh, some slow bits, some sort of talking. There's a lot of talking and sort of medieval political stuff that goes on in the in the backplay and stuff like that. But then there's a there is a lot of action and there is a lot of sex scenes and stuff like that. So it covers a lot of uh, great issues. There's a lot of variance in all the in all the content that's in that show. So it's definitely one worth checking out. And uh, I am a fan of Glee. Uh, Cory Monteith died. Um, he was a, a drug addict, so probably won't get the. Uh, I don't know what's the word. He probably won't get the respect. I don't know if that's really the right way to talk about. But you know, he's uh, he was a recovering drug addict, and he had a drug overdose in his in his hotel room. So I don't think people are going to feel too sorry for him. That's what I was trying to get out. And um, yeah, I. I liked him as a as a character, but um yeah I didn't didn't really know what I really thought about that. But uh, a couple of TV shows that I wanted to talk about that not a lot of people might have seen is uh, the first one is Rake, and it's a Australian TV show, and it's about a lawyer who uh, is pretty much like the bad child type thing. He's like he's into prostitution, he's into gambling, he's got heavy debts, and uh, he's always just. Uh, really, really funny. He is played by Richard Roxburgh, which, if you don't know him, he was the uh, the Duke in Moulin Rouge. He was one of the the second in charge bad guy in MI2. Uh, he, he's played a lot of roles. He's a very good actor. I really like him in in Rake. He's either I think he's Australian. I think he's born in Albury actually, which is my hometown. Uh, I now live in Wagga, but yeah, he's from Albury. And uh, definitely worth checking out. Rake is just it's one of the best shows. It's I only had one season, and it's been approved for a second season by the ABC, so hopefully that comes out soon enough, because it's a very, very good show. And um, the other show that I want to talk about is an American show. It's called House of Cards, and I don't know how popular it is. I don't think... Not a lot of my friends have known about it. It's only had one season. And uh, pretty much Kevin Spacey is a majority whip, so pretty much he controls the party... He controls all the, the, the main people in the party, so like... Not not like the president or the the, uh, the huge huge ones, but all the congressmen and stuff of the of said party. I can't remember which party he is, uh, whether it's Democrat or Republican. But he is the majority whip, so pretty much a whip controls the congressman, keeps people in line and stuff like that. He's very good um, with manipulation and coercion and sort of stuff like that, but in his own ways. Like Kevin Spacey is a perfect actor for that. He's a really really good actor. Yeah, and definitely worth checking out House of Cards. It's a very, very, very good show. Uh, it's also got Kate Mara in it. Um, I think it's Kate Mara. 
Uh, it's either Kate or Rooney. They're, they're sisters. Pretty sure it's Kate Mara. I'll check now. And, um... Yeah, yeah. Kate Mara is the, is the one that's in House of Cards. She's pretty sexy. She kind of, weirdly enough, looks kind of like a midget. <laughs> but still, other than that, she's pretty sexy. She, uh, she acts her part as a journalist well. Uh, a journalist that's sort of controlled and used by Kevin Spacey's character. And, yeah, so definitely worth going and checking out. It's a very, very good card. A uh, very, very good uh, TV show. I rate it very, very highly. Uh, I'd probably rate it above Game of Thrones, which not a lot of people would do, because Game of Thrones, in everyone's mind, is amazing. I'm sort of a little bit over it. There is only a few storylines. I love, I love the the, uh, the dragon chick. Is it Targaryen or whatever her name is? I'm not very good with the names of Game of Thrones characters, but um, that chick with the with the three dragons, she is awesome. That is a very, very good plot to, to follow in Game of Thrones. And, um, yeah, I'd, I'd rate this show above Game of Thrones. Kevin Spacey's character is amazing, and it's just... It's good to see. I don't know how truthful it is. It probably is very truthful about the, the sort of it's sort of like the underbelly of the political parties and stuff like that, and how stuff gets done in Congress and in Parliament, or Parliament, uh, in the U.S. political system. So it's it's definitely an interesting one to watch. I definitely recommend it. And uh, another thing I wanted to talk about is I've started to get more into competitive gameplay since uh, Lee plays come out. Uh, Lee play is probably one of the best uh, best things added to a Call of Duty in the last few years. Uh, I honestly think this is the most balanced Call of Duty. Probably one of the most fun. This or, or Black Ops 1 is probably the two most fun Call of Duty's that I've played. But uh, Lee play has got to be one of the, the best things that's actually been added to a Call of Duty. It's just... Pubs can get sort of annoying sometimes. Uh, just because people being dicks or boosting or whatnot. But Lee play is really about the competitive, getting about the win and it's just a very very good thing to have so uh, the good thing is that a lot of the pro players use that and they like live stream and stuff like that and they use league play as a when they're not scrimming or when they're not playing in tournaments and stuff they use league play because there is restricted rules and stuff like that I'm sure if you're watching a Call of Duty video you pro probably know about league play but uh, it's pretty much if, most people play in the champion series so it's 4v4 there's search and destroy hardpoint and uh, capture the flag. So, honestly, capture the flag probably one of my favourite game types. Search and destroy. I'm slowly getting better at now that I'm starting to play a bit slower. I was always a, a run and gun rush sort of type person. Now I'm starting to play a bit slower. Search and destroy is getting a little bit better. And uh, hard points not really my favourite. It was in pubs just because I could use tack inserts and smash the crap out of people. But it's harder in league play. But um. Another thing in competitive game that we've been going on, uh, I've got a couple more people that I've started to play with. Uh, Shields is one of them. And we've started to play... I don't know how I didn't actually get this kill on this guy. It was very painful to watch. Uh, we've been playing some 2v2 and 4v4 Cyber Gamer. So if you've never heard of Cyber Gamer, it's pretty much like an Australian version of Game Battles or MLG or something like Not so much MLG, that's pro, but of Game Battles where you can go and get scrims, go and get matches and stuff like that. There's ladders and stuff you can go up and down in like 4v4s, 2v2s and all this sort of stuff. And yeah, so I've been playing a 2v2 with Shields and then we've got a 4v4 team as well. And that is with uh, G-Unit Matt and we've been trying to fill in a couple of 4s. Uh, maybe Chronic and... Neon Ferox, I think. We haven't really played too much. We're only sort of starting to get into the 4v4s now. I don't think me and Shields have lost a 2v2 at the, uh, as of yet. Uh, but, um... So hopefully we can keep going with that. My phone just went off, vibrated. don't know if you actually heard that. Very painful. But, um... Yeah, I don't think we've actually lost a 2v2. We've got sort of gypped out of one. Uh, we scheduled it for a different time. And, anyway, I don't really want to go into that, but... Technically, we lost it, but we really didn't lose it. And, um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this gameplay. I, it's the first time I've got sort of a good sniper gameplay in a long while. I almost turned on that guy off the off the tack insert. I don't know. It was just, I love when, when you kill people off the tack insert spawn. They just sit there camping it. They don't expect it when you come back and you just turn on them. It's so hilarious. But, um, this gameplay ended up... I don't know if I was from memory. I was playing the objective fairly hard. I think I got, like, seven caps at the end of this game. Whether I could have played the objective harder or not, I'm not exactly sure. I'm pretty sure these guys get dogs and a low star and stuff around about now, so it made it a little bit hard. Uh, I think we end up losing this game by a little bit. I was going for a lot of kills in the first and the start of the second round, 
um, taking surging in the middle underground, uh, trying to get a lot of kills from nice feeds and stuff like that. But um, I was playing the Drifty a lot from memory. But yeah, we just, in, at the end, somehow they got a load star, they got dogs, and they got an orbital, so in the end we lose, lose by a little bit. I don't know how good the other, our team was going, I didn't remember, remember the scoreboard. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I might come out with some more commentary soon. Uh, to wrap up, pretty much Game of Thrones, I mean not Game of Thrones, House of Cards, definitely go and watch. It is an amazing, amazing show. One of the best shows that is out there at the moment. So definitely go check that out. And um, Rake is another one. It's an Australian show. It's absolutely amazing. So go check out Rake as well. I promise enjoyment in that also. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, I'm coming out with some, hopefully some more clips from some league play and some 2v2s and 4v4 competitive gameplay and stuff like that soon. Uh, I've just been playing a lot more of that. Uh, I ended up going 37 and I can't remember now. The kill can't wait for it to show up. 37 and bam. No, no, it doesn't even want to show up. Come on, come on, come on. 37 and 27 with 7 caps and 9 defense. So, hope you guys enjoy this. I've been Hermie, and peace.